Does your base look like this or this? And would you prefer if it rather looked something like this or this or even this? Thank you for watching because I've probably got a couple of tips for you. The first and in my opinion most important thing to talk about is turf. Because just like an artist who does paintings needs an empty canvas to draw on, the turf and don't serve together serves exactly that purpose. It serves as a guideline for your structures and walls, so you can get a better idea where things could go. Whenever I start a new world and I get to the point to make my first science machine in order to craft the first essentials like a backpack and a spear, I always also make sure to prototype a pitchfork, which allows me to start with a clean canvas from the get-go when I decide to start my actual base and put down the alchemy engine. I personally always try to aim for a healthy balance between roads, some green area or park areas, and the turf that you actually do construct on. With the help of the geometric placement mod, which I presume most of you are already using, it is very easy to build things symmetrically. Just pick a corner or the center of one of the turf pieces that you lay down, and it is bound to look clean and orderly. The park areas will ease up your builds a little bit and are an excellent spot to add a couple of trees. If you favor form over function like me, you can also use these spots to grow some foods like with some stone fruit bushes or berry bushes. While I tend to be very accurate with the placement of my structures, I tend to be a bit more open and creative with the placement of bushes. As in nature, things just grow as they want. Last but not least, the walls will tie every build together. I just love how my bases look with them, and even though they don't technically really provide any protection, they always just give me the sense of feeling at home and comfiness. I personally like to limit myself to never use more than a combination of three turfs at a time for a given build, and equally just a combination of three walls and fences at a time for a given build. Otherwise it will just look too chaotic and too colourful. And I personally always try to aim for a high degree of cohesion amongst my builds. Within the turf and the geometric placement grid, for most of my builds I aim to place the fences or walls just outside of the turf grid. This way walls and fences will most of the time be right on top of the edge of a turf piece. In case you didn't know, you can upgrade walls not just with other walls but with the base resource which can in some cases save you a lot of material. Using twigs to upgrade wood walls is one of my favorite things. Sometimes during my stream people tell me, oh Rovius, I could never do something like that. And I would just like to invite you to pick a pitchfork and just start digging. Try different shapes, uh, try different turfs, try different color combinations. Uh, just start and see where it goes from there. Most of the time I don't really have a plan in mind and just need to start uh, letting things roll and eventually something nice will begin to take shape. Thank you so so much for watching, let me know down in the comments what you think or if you have any questions. As a final tip I can only recommend you to check out the architects pack made by Key Nooks, uh, link down in the description below, which uh, includes all the assets from Hamlet, Gorge, Forge and Shipwrecked and it's just uh, any base builder's dream so the only limit is your own imagination. Also say hello over on Twitch and have an amazing time. Bye bye.